progress as we work together with gated dressage and to share what I've learned along the way with you. So, thank you for watching. Wow guys, am I ever glad it's finally spring. Holy cow, that was the longest winter ever. I think it lasted seven months this year. Really long when you don't have an indoor arena. <laughs> so keeping us in show shape uh, year round is really challenging. Anyway, we do the best we can. Um, anyway, thank you for uh, joining me on this uh, naturally gated YouTube channel. My name is Jennifer Klitsky and this is Makana, my 10 year old Tennessee walking horse mare. Um, we've been together since she's been three and uh, she's my first gated horse. I've had horses for 30 years and I've been a student of dressage for that whole time 30 years and dressage is really the only training method that I know. So that is what this horse has learned and we pretty much um, it's been a real big experiment, experiment for us because um, I wasn't really sure if dressage and gated horses went together. But I've been very happily surprised that it has. And I've met many people who have also applied dressage to their gated horses with a lot of success. And then in 2010, um, I kind of stumbled upon this whole gated dressage and competition idea by accident. I was looking in Craigslist and happened to notice that not far from here was a schooling dressage show. I called the schooling secretary and asked her if I could bring my gated horse and ride my gated horse in flat walk instead of trot. And she agreed. And so I brought her there. We did pretty good. And uh, I was hooked from that point on. And I've been very happy to uh, have the, had the privilege of riding at several venues, uh, other schooling dressage shows. I've been the only gated entry. I'd love it if more people would be there. It would be great, but um, in any case, I've been thrilled that the show secretaries have been so supportive. Um, I haven't been turned down yet. Um, I think it's really important though that you contact the show secretary before the event and ask if it's okay to bring um, your gated horse if you are interested in doing so because um, there's nothing like surprising the judge and the show committee uh, with a horse that doesn't trot. <laughs> um, so if you prepare them in advance and give them the opportunity to say yes or no, I think it's, it's just, it works a lot better that way. But like I said, um, to date I have not been turned down and it's been a very positive experience for both me, my horse, and the show. Um, a lot of the local schooling shows really benefit um, from having more entries. It's also really good for the horse, good for the rider, um, and good for the venue and it's good for the exposure for other riders to see um, what it looks like to have dressage applied to a gated horse especially as people get older like me you know I'm in my 50s now and and you know my body isn't like it, what it used to be and it's not as easy to sit that trot so it's nice to be able to know that as you get older you can use your dressage school your sorry it's as you get older it's good to know that you can use your dressage uh, training methods and apply it to a horse that doesn't apply trot. your dressage training to a horse that doesn't trot so a real smooth moving horse um, that is easier on your body so all that said thank you so much for joining this channel and uh, just keep in touch share your own stories and videos with me because I am always eager to learn from you so I've learned so much from what I've seen already out there so I really uh, encourage you to uh, continue to write to me. I really enjoy that. Share your videos, your stories, your feedback, and your questions. Boy, when you when you ask a question, I can always post it because there's lots of people that you know can share their feedback and their um, their ideas as well. So, thank you so much for joining me on this channel, and also visit naturallygated.com. Um, also, there's a naturally gated Facebook page, so I encourage you to visit visit that as well. I share a lot of uh, stories, links, pictures, and videos that I come across that I find useful, so maybe you'll find them useful as well. So thanks again for joining us. Until then, happy trails. <laughs>